Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here I'll be doing a demonstration on how to replace the rear drum brakes on a Ford Ranger. Don't forget to check out my website at www.4diyers.com and subscribe to my social media pages such as Google+, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Links are all included in the description below. This particular vehicle I am working with here today is a 1998 Ford Ranger 2.5 liter two wheel drive. So procedures may vary between the years and engine models. First start by elevating the rear of the vehicle safely and then remove the wheel. Next remove the brake drum. If the brake drum is stuck this can be caused from a few different reasons. It might be rusted to the hub, the parking brake can be stuck on, the shoes have rusted to the drum braking surface or the wheel cylinder is seized. There are different solutions for each of these problems and I will be doing a more in-depth video on this in the future so definitely stay tuned for that. But just as a brief explanation, you can hammer in between the wheel studs to break any rust free, or cut the emergency brake cable if it's seized, or back off the adjuster. First remove the shoe hold down springs and caps. These are removed by pushing in, holding the pin on the opposite side with your hand, and then rotating 90 degrees. These can stick from sitting, so if you're having trouble, use pliers to twist the center. Now remove the retraction springs from the anchor point on top. After that remove the automatic adjuster cable. Then spread the shoes at the top and pull out of their location. After that, disconnect the parking brake bracket, which just clips into a little slot on the brake shoe. Clean up the drum's braking surface edge if there is a light buildup of rust or a lip. This can be done using a file. This small lip can cause issues when removing and installing the drum, and will build up over time with vehicle usage, which is perfectly normal. Now clean up the braking surface to remove any glazing or dirt debris. Here I'm using a coarse abrasive pad, but you can also use 120 grit sandpaper. While doing this, ensure the braking surface on the drum is in still good condition. There must be no excessive grooves, glazing, heat distortion, cracking, or any other damage which can jeopardize the braking performance. As for an option on fixing this issue, sometimes the drums can be turned down, depending how much material is left, or new replacement drums can be purchased. Clean up any brake dust buildup on the areas inside the drum besides the braking surface. Finally give it a good wipe down to remove any dirt or residue. Here I'm using these brake cleaning wipes made by Permatex. I'm very happy with this product. It contains no VOCs, cleans any oil residue or contaminants fast and easily, and provides a thin corrosion protection. If you have purchased new drums, be sure to clean the packaging oil off as this can jeopardize the braking performance. After that, then clean the backing plate, remove any old brake dust or dirt. There will be raised pads on the mounting plate which the shoes ride on. Ensure they are clean of any rust, and once done cleaning, apply a small amount of high temperature grease to these pads so the shoes will move freely. For this vehicle, a new spring kit was purchased. You can reuse the old hardware if it is still in good condition. It's your choice. As for the automatic adjuster, the original hardware is being reused as it is still in good working condition. Remove the adjuster lever. It simply slides into a notch. Then remove the spring as well and reinstall it on the new shoe. Remove the automatic adjuster. Sometimes these can stick to the shoe over time. Thankfully the adjuster is in perfect working order so it only needs a light cleanup and then it needs to be relubricated. Install the new pads. First clip the parking brake bracket into place. Install the pin hold down spring and cap. Install the automatic adjuster and ensure it's in the correct orientation. Then install the front shoe along with the hold down spring and cap. Install the parking brake link. Put the adjuster cable into place on the anchor point and then continue to install both the front and rear retraction springs. There will be a cable guide on the rear shoe as well and ensure it is clipped in properly 
as it does slide into a little hole and can pop out during installation of the spring. Install a lower spring that goes above the automatic adjuster. This needs to be installed first before the cable is clipped into place. Then install the cable onto the adjuster lever. Ensure the adjuster is properly seated into its location, then adjust accordingly. You will need to test fit the drum so there is a light contact between the new shoes and braking surface. This can be done with the drum off, or if there is a slight lip, then remove the plug on the backing plate and then adjust with a standard screwdriver. Ensure the mounting surface on the inside of the drum along with the hub are clean and free of any rust residue, as this can cause issues down the road. Install the wheel back onto the vehicle and check the brake pedal travel. As another tip, if the brake pedal is still slightly low, you can reverse the vehicle and apply the brakes, which will automatically adjust the shoes as well. But they should be adjusted first manually so they are within close specifications. Be sure to stay up to date with my latest videos and subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking on the button below the video. This concludes the rest of my video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post them. Thank you for watching.